All right, so today I have this iPhone 6s Plus, and uh, one of my friends wanted me to repair it for them. Okay, now their wallpaper, uh, nope, nope, get off of that. As you can see, their wallpaper is quite interesting. I want to find out what it is. Now, the digitizer, it's completely unresponsive, will not register touch. All right. So, I cannot properly shut it off. I've never worked on the iPhone 6S Plus before. And quite interesting how it has like three three Apple magic pull tabs that always break to release the battery that's quite amazing okay now he's paying me 40 bucks to do a $20 screen replacement which I think is quite acceptable Okay, got this plate off. Now, gonna unplug the display and plug this. Come on, just this, this, and is that it? Yes. Okay, great. Now, I am going to transfer the earpiece and home button over to the new Chinese display. <laughs> it even says Chinese on there. That's that's great. So unfortunately, I think this cheap ass screwdriver has been stripped. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now the issue is I am unable to find my real screwdriver at the moment. It's it magically grew legs and jumped out my window. So, I, ah, uh, I'll go and attempt to relocate the screwdriver. I have relocated the screwdriver. It somehow got underneath a book, which is pretty great. And the screw comes right out. Would you look at that? Okay. That's just great. So I got the display off. What am I saying? I got the uh, whatever this is. Whoa! What? There's a sideways screw. That's weird. I would have not seen that coming. Okay. That's a quite interesting place to put a screw that you really most likely don't need. Okay, now will the back plate come off? I believe that's what this is called. And it falls right off. Okay. Um, it already has... No, it doesn't. This needs to come off. Ambient light sensor. And... Front facing camera. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Let's. Yeah, I. Hmm. Okay. I need. Wait a moment. It's quite interesting.
Okay. So it's glued down, which is just fine. Okay, and you got the camera off. Now I'm going to attempt to install it back on here. First I need to take the adhesive, like, whatever this is called, like the thing that protects the adhes adhesive. Okay, what I thought was interesting is it, the Apple logo, it's printed on this. Yeah, is it gonna... Okay, yeah, the Apple logo, it's printed on this, which is quite interesting. Someone could mistake this for a genuine Apple display. Okay, now the question is, does this go on top or bottom? I think it goes on the bottom. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, now where did this, this piece, the uh, earpiece, earpiece speaker thing, yep, definitely what it's called, install that, like that, is it doing a thing, I hope it's doing a thing. I think that just sets down on there. Stop dropping it. Okay, great. believe that this is installed properly I sure hope it's installed properly Uh, well, it's, I can't tell if it's going in the right place or not. That's the issue. Well, okay, I finally got this installed, which took me too long. Now, huh, I believe I placed the connector in the right location, however, I'm unsure, so, uh, let's see, how would this go on? This would, that, goes there, and this would go there, and then the, uh, this one would go on top, not on bottom, so how, uh, what it, hold on, this is really something, you see.
Yeah, yeah, it would go like that. Okay. Okay. Now it's time to install this back plate right here. Okay. Yes, just like that. Okay, let's get the screwdriver. I believe this screw is the screw that goes in sideways. Now, why would Apple put a screw that goes in sideways into a phone? The only screws that should go in sideways are the, the screws for the uh, button assembly. Okay. Great. Nope. Nope. Not great. Yeah, just like that. It took me quite a while to get one screw in one location. Now for all the other screws. Alright, I got all the screws in. And now on the uh, home button, there's also an Apple logo. So, it's quite interesting. That'd be great if I broke the home button. Okay, got it out with not that much of a problem. There is glass all over this. Just get it out with my hands. Okay. Oh, there's so much glass. So muck, yes, yeah, so muck glass. That's definitely what I meant to say there. Okay. Can it be plugged in maybe? Um, uh, that's mean. Doesn't want to go in because this goes too far out. I plug it in like this? I don't want to break it. Okay, I got one screw into the home button and the other screw. The other screw, if it wants to go in. Yes, no, yes, okay. Does the home button press? Yep, it presses just fine. Now, let's install it into the phone itself. Okay. That went in just fine. Now, sometimes connectors will just go in. Other times, 
they absolutely refuse to go in. Ah, I don't feel like that's in, but it looks like it's in. Okay, I'm going to plug the battery in. What happens? Hey, I really wasn't expecting that to turn on. Okay. Well, that's just great now, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to install the display bracket. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now he did ask me to factory reset the phone because apparently he forgot the password. iPhone is disabled, please try again in five minutes or 10 minutes. I, I didn't read it fast enough. Okay, now this like that and that, no, it didn't like me, screws don't like me for whatever reason. Oh, I should have got a, uh, what's it called, a water ceiling to go around the display. I just need to stock up on those. And now the same person, he's using an iPhone 7 right now, but apparently he wants me to repair this phone so he can use it as his main phone. Now I don't understand why someone would want to go from a 7 to a 6S Plus. But, well, in my opinion, the 6S Plus is better than the 7. Yeah. Okay, iPhone disabled. Please try again in four minutes. Okay. I'm going to try to remove the residue around the display from the... Uh, water seal. Now I I just realized something. You can only see my hand. Well, you still can only see my hand. That's it's just great, you know. Okay. Well, all right. I got the phone all sealed up. Now I was hoping for something more, not this. Like that. <laughs> this is just gross. Okay, anyway. Where is this? Okay, I need to install the two bottom screws. That. And that. All right. Time to factory reset it. Okay, now this phone, it's running some early version of iOS 11. But, unfortunately, I'll have to update it to 12. So, need to put it into DF no recovery mode okay now does it want to turn back on maybe yep okay open up iTunes where's iTunes right here and then there is a problem with the iPhone iPhone Okay, let's restore the phone, restore and update, agree, agree, okay. 
It's downloading. About two minutes left. It, okay, well, that's great. That's... Okay, well, so I was just thinking, what if the phone gets bricked due to the third-party display? That'd be hilarious. Just absolutely hilarious. And, well, that took way less than two minutes to download it. Anyway, that's that's pretty great. All right, the phone finished restoring, and would you look at that? Activation lock, but I bet they know their username and password. And I even asked them, and they said, yes, I know the username and password, so. That, that's just great. Okay, one more thing. I just want to point out. These, like, recommended for you, I don't even know what Mad Max is. It looks fun, but I don't know what it is. Now, I would watch that one. This one, it's good. This one, no. No, no, no. Vice? Why is Vice even in my recommended? This one, I would watch that one. Um, also the Telltale one. Uh, I would not watch that one. Like, that's a completely different... Ah, uh, this just... Man. The recommended section for YouTube is... Mm, some of the worst I've ever seen. That's, that's just great.